Hi everyone. So let's go over the curriculum that technical interviews will cover. Like I said, it's very standardized. The interview is pretty much like an SAT. And so there are actually a couple of books that are like the holy grails. It's basically like the uh, Princeton Review or Kaplan book or Barron's if you will for uh, program interviews. And that is called Cracking the Coding Interview by Gail Lachman McDowell. Shout out to her, she's a pretty beastly software engineer. She worked for a lot of the big companies, Google, Microsoft, and Apple, and then decided to make it her lifelong career of helping people get into these companies. So yeah, this is the, this is the fifth edition. I think it's like sixth edition now, but from what I've seen, the problems from edition to edition stay the same. Uh, the main differences is that uh, they, she kind of beefed up the chapters talking about the concepts. And just one note about the, the concepts, they're not gonna be graduate school, you know, PhD type of things that they test you on. It's gonna be stuff that you learned in undergraduate computer science curriculum, and even maybe in high school if you take an AP computer science. Let's go over the topics. So basically, you will have to study and master if you can the following. Data structures, absolutely. Data structures and algorithms. Absolutely the number one most important course if you're gonna be going into these technical interviews with the top top tech companies, without a doubt. So if you've already taken it, I suggest you uh, check out your textbooks and refresh your memory. Or better yet, just, just use this book and refresh your memory. And if you're in high school and you're already aiming for this type of career, then put that on your list, something to, to study. There's tons of videos on YouTube, lectures as well from like MIT professors. But uh, there's also short home, homegrown, homemade movies, uh, videos that, that go over data structures and algorithms. And specifically, there's several data structures that you really ought to know. Each one has its pros and cons, and you should become familiar with when is it best to use this one versus that one and also how to implement them that would be good to know familiarize yourself how to implement them for example how do you add a element to a list how do you remove an element from a list how do you search for something within a list so let's let's go over the structures themselves so definitely be familiar with linked lists be familiar with arrays all right it's a one-dimensional array be very familiar with two-dimensional arrays, uh, matrices. Like at Google, for example, I had a, quite a handful of questions that were related with a, a grid or a 2D array. So definitely be very familiar with that. And also be familiar with my favorite data structure, hash tables. To know all, all the ins and outs of them. Key, key value, key value pair, what does that mean? Uh, Lookup time, insertion time. Yeah, the pros and cons. Each one has a strength and weakness, so definitely be familiar with that. And then when it comes to algorithms, that's a whole, that's a big thing in itself. Let's divide that up. So first of all, searching algorithms. There's binary search, depth first search, breadth first search. Oh, I forgot to mention uh, those searches relate to trees. So oh, that's another data structure. Be familiar with trees and graphs and what's the difference between them and how to implement them. You can implement them either using an adjacency list or adjacency matrix and there's pros and cons of each of those. So be familiar with that too. And be familiar with uh, what's directed graph mean, undirected graph, what's a vertex, what's an edge. You should be able to answer those questions uh, off the top of your head. And this book will uh, test you on some of that stuff. Oh, actually, this is another book, Programming Interviews Exposed. This is, before this came along, this was kind of like the holy grail. But uh, this kind of has since taken over. But this also has a lot of good fundamental stuff, including brain teasers. Some companies still will ask you brain teaser kind of stuff, so not, not really programming questions. But anyway, back to algorithms. Be familiar with sorting algorithms as well. Quick sort, bubble sort, merge sort, insertion sort, selection sort, radix sort. You can just Google or YouTube all these and there's very useful uh, animated videos kind of showing you how they work. I wish I had that when I was uh, in undergrad and taking that course, but be familiar with each of those, how they work. From my experience, Google won't ask you questions like, uh, how do you implement 
uh, you know, merge sort or how do you implement a hash table. They're, they're not going to ask you to implement the data structure itself or the algorithm itself, but they will ask you questions that will require you to apply one of these in order to solve. For example, you'll need to apply a hash table to solve a problem, or you'll need to apply radix sort to solve a problem. Yeah, so definitely be aware of that. Oh, another data structure, a bonus. If you've gotten all those other ones, a bonus one to get familiar with is the try. T-R-I-E. This is a data structure that's used for looking up words in a dictionary, for example. The nodes are arranged so that uh, you can quickly find a word whether or not it's in a dictionary. Anyway, that's a bonus. If you can study that, that's good. But be very familiar with dynamic programming. Recursion. Recursion usually is a brute force way to solve something that can be solved instead using dynamic programming. Basically, dynamic programming is you solve a sm smaller problem and then you take that solution to apply to the bigger problem and then repeat, apply that to the next bigger problem until you finally solve the actual problem. Rather than repeatedly resolving it and wasting uh, CPU or memory, this is a way to kind of remember what you did and, and use it for later. Taking credit for the work you did, essentially. So be familiar with that. Uh, within dynamic programming, there's strategies called uh, like greedy algorithms, divide and conquer, memoization, be fairly familiar with those. Um, it's very possible that uh, a Google question or one of the top tech companies will ask you a problem that requires dynamic programming to solve, or at least uh, requires it for it to be solved efficiently. And then next is, uh, of course, string ma manipulation questions, bit manipulation questions. Uh, you know, for example, string questions such as uh, remove all the duplicates from this string, right? Or determine whether or not this string is a palindrome. So those are pretty much the concepts that are pretty universal for all the top tech companies. And if you can go through this book and I would try try to attempt each and every problem in this book. Some of them are actually pretty hard, and I, I don't think even harder than the ones I experienced at Google. So I don't think they'll ever ask you anything to that degree. But it's still a good exercise to go through it. And then if you're really stuck, then you can you can always look at the solution. The book does come with solutions for everything. But always try to solve it yourself first and really work through their solutions if you're stuck. So yeah, that's the part two, the curriculum. I hope this was very helpful and best luck to you. Next video, I'll probably go over a couple of uh, sample problems. All right, peace out.